In this lesson, we'll be adding display tags and keying our sweep. Okay, so let's go ahead and use our same method for the display tag that we had before. So again, I'll just jump back over to that 12 underscore end. We'll select one of our display tags and make sure we don't have anything selected besides the display tag so we only get its keyframes. So I'll just right click, hit copy, and we'll go back over to our 18 underscore begin. And we need to add the display tag first. So we'll start with whales, go to tags, cinema 4D tags display, and then I'll just right click and hit paste. Now it looks like they may have been pasted after the fact. They may have been pasted farther down. So just, I'm just going to hit control Z and we'll try that again. It doesn't really look like we're able to borrow those keys from another project, whether they're being pasted later in the timeline or whether it's just not allowing us to associate those keys with a new separate tag. So that's okay, we can just go back in and we know that on the key right before that first key, we need to put this at 100% visibility. So we'll just select the tag, check that on, key it just by control clicking. Then we'll go back a frame and take it down to zero and key again. So we have to recreate that one, but that's no big deal. That didn't take very long at all. So what I can do is just drag those down to those four just by control dragging. And then we'll just do it by moving them. So we'll just want to make sure you have the right display tag selected that's associated with the layer that you want. And then all you have to do is move them up. There, so now those all have display tags with their visibility keyed. And then we just want to come in and draw our sweeps. So we need to key those as well. So let's go down to our 2%. Make sure you don't have a tag selected anymore. And we know that that's ending right about here. So let's say when this gets to be its largest, that's where we want this sweep to begin. And we also need to decide which side we want it to draw from. So with that 2% line selected on this sweep here, we'll come over and looks like the start growth is going to be coming from this side over and the end growth is going to be coming from this side over here. So we actually will want to key our start growth. So we'll turn our start growth up to 100%, key it, and then let's give it about 10 frames. So we'll go to 76, and we'll turn that back down to zero and key again. Great. Now let's do the same thing for our 1%. So I'll select my 1% bit of text, go to that middle key, and then I'll select my 1% line, and we'll come into our start growth, turn that up to 100, key it, go forward 10 frames, which will put us at 82, and turn that back down to zero, key again. Perfect, so that matches up really nicely. Okay, great, so we have all of the animations created here. Um, we haven't added that breakdown of species in the reef though. So we'll want to go ahead and add that animation as well. But if you recall from our last graph that we created, it's a little bit hard to tell when the title should come on or really the timing of any of these. So let's go ahead and get our camera set up in the next lesson and then we'll be able to tell if we need to adjust the timing on any of our individual pieces of text. So stick around and we'll be animating our camera for the pie graph in the next lesson.